It's a first for the LGBTQ plus community in Fort Myers. Love is love. <laughs> Bringing all the feels for the Halls family, visiting the new Goldberg Center's ribbon cutting in the heart of downtown on this Friday night. I'm happy that there's a place where my sister can feel supported and have other people that are like her um, to be with. A space years in the making, but opening just in time. With the currently political climate and anti-LGBTQ plus legislation, as explained by Arlene Goldberg, the founder of Visuality in Pride Southwest Florida. It's needed for all ages. Who the center is named after. We have, we have transgender people leaving, leaving the state uh, with their kids because they're afraid and I don't blame them. Um, we, we need this because, you know, when I heard all the bills they were passing, for a minute, that scared me. And I said, oh, my God, we're opening a center. And I said, you know what? Oh, oh my God, it's a good thing we're opening the center. This facility will be considered a safe space for people of all ages to hang out and connect. And back here is where that all happens. Social events like parent support groups and board game nights are just a few of the things available to the LGBTQ plus community here in Southwest Florida. And it's open for all, including people who call themselves allies of this community, like Mina Peters Ritchie with the organization Free Mom Hugs. I was at, at Naples Pride last week. We had a gentleman that came up and gave me a hug and held on and didn't want to let go. Seeing the need in Southwest Florida firsthand. Tears started coming out of his eyes as he was telling me that he hadn't hugged his mother in 10 years. I want to make sure that there's a safe space um, for my daughter. Um, and there's a lot of stuff going on in the state that makes me feel a lot of emotions.